back, Pokemon fans! And last time we made it through the Cerulean Cape area, I guess, whatever route that is, I don't know. Um, and we're at the Cerulean Cape, and now we're about to go talk to Bill. We beat all the trainers here except for one who is part of the Mew Glitch, so we're gonna continue into Bill's house. Hiya! I'm a Pokemon! No, I'm not! Call me Bill! I'm a true blue Pokemaniac! Hey! What's with that look, skeptical look? I'm not joshing you. I screwed up an experiment and got combined with a Pokemon. So, how about it? Help me out here. When I'm in the teleporter, go to my PC and run the cell separation system. Alright. Peace, man. Oh, I, I got it. Oh, oh god, I never knew that could happen. That's hilarious. Alright, so you come over to this PC and, uh... Lobby initiated the teleporter cell separator. And... Bill the Kabuto will... <laughs> separate. And I don't really know what he Pokemon he is in Gen 1, but I know in Gen 3's remake he is a Clefairy. But in the anime he is trapped in a Kabuto cosplay... costume. Yeah! 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 I think. Thanks, bud! I owe you one! So, did you come to see my Pokemon collection? You didn't? That's a bummer. I've got to thank you. Oh, here. Maybe this'll do. I received the SS ticket. Super Saiyan ticket. The ticket to Super Saiyan. That cruise ship, the Super Saiyan Anne, is in Vermilion City. Its passengers are all trainers. They invited me to their party, but I can't stand fancy dues. I get seasick. Why don't you go instead of me? Uh, SS doesn't stand for Super Saiyan, I was just being doofy. So, we're gonna... Come down here, and, uh... Heal up. And now we, uh, also, uh... Instead of it saying, uh, someone's PC, it'll say Bill. And we come in here... And, uh... Battle this rocket. Hey, stay out! It's not your yard! Huh? Me? I'm an innocent bystander. Don't you believe me? No, you're in all black, sir. And it's not your yard either. You have no right to say that to me. I can intrude in people's houses and no one cares, but you? It's against the law, man. I got a spooner. Watch out. See that spoon? It's going right up his butt. Walking Dead comic style. For anyone who doesn't know what I'm talking about, Walking Dead comic. Brutal. Brutal. A dude got a spoon shoved up his ass and car and gouged, and the woman who did it gouged his eye out with a spoon. Full of his poop. And that wasn't that. I guess was kind of the worst of it, but there's still worse. Way worse than what happened to him. That wasn't it. He was nailed to a floorboard. By his nuts. By his crotch. Yeah. For anyone who does watch The Walking Dead or read The Walking Dead knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> He's gonna eat my dreams. He's gonna eat all my wet dreams. I don't think I've ever said eat wet dreams in one sentence before. Well, he just disabled my tail whip. I can't wag that little stub anymore. Can we not... Oh my god, I'm confused. Oh my god, I'm back to sleep. What the hell? That's one thing I like about, uh... Sleep. The minute you wake up, you attack. Oh my god, drowsy! Come on! Stop! I give up! I'll leave quietly! Okay, 
I'll return the TM I stole. Yay, I got dig. I better get moving. Bye. Why would you even say bye to me? So, uh, that's one of the next ways you have to go, but not quite the right way yet. You don't even have cut yet, so you can't get over there. Thank you, your Pokemon are fighting fit. We hope to see you again. I have nine footballs. I can buy more. I have, I have enough, though. <clears throat> Onward to the next gym. Splash! I'm first up. Let's do it! Swimmer wants to fight. And he's a very odd angle. Oh, that horsey. Critical hit! Critical hit with no kill? Oh, he... Poor sap. Oh, that feels good. Mm. Gotta love dead cold sprite. Ah. Aww. Shoulder! Damn, the crits, man. It's all about that spoon. That can't be! I'm more than good enough for you. Misty can wait. Whoa. Hey, girl. If you weren't, like, underage. Yeah, you're confused. You better hit yourself. I'm confused. I better hit myself in the face. My god, what's with these crits? Man, I swear, it's that spoon. they It's so good that they made it into an item later on. You overwhelmed me. Meh. <sighs> wow, that sounds like I raped her. Alright, on to Misty. Hi, you're in your face. Trainers who want to turn pro to have a policy about Pokemon. What is your approach when you catch Pokemon? My policy is a lot offensive with water type Pokemon. Why did I not sound very ladylike? I'm sorry. Misty in that swimsuit though. Why am I even saying that? <laughs> I'm just trying to be derpy and funny. Not really being serious. Um, that confusion. Now, Misty can actually be a trainer. Yeah, she's easy to beat, but it's an early trainer that can wreck your face. Not as bad as Miltank, but trust me, I've lost to Misty and actually had some tough fights. If you're a lower level and actually are on par with Starmie here, its recover will make this fight a pain in its arse. Arceus. Pain in its Arceus. Arceus. Sorry. A pain in its Arceus. Oh my god. Oh, right, right, right. It's psychic. Starmie is water and psychic. I forgot that. My typing, man. Like, it's, it's not that I'm bad with typing. I'm bad with some typing. I just forget some typing. That bubble beam. That bubble beam, though. You're being a good little starfish, aren't you? A starfish that's being humped from the back by another starfish. So it's two star you humping each other. I'm sorry if I ruined any childhoods. But I've seen a picture of it, like what Starmie, like how Starmie is looks is evolved. Something about two star U's fucking each other. Or something. And that's Misty. Like I said, easy. 
can be a pain in the butt, though. As you saw, she started to actually do some damage to me. Wow, you're too much. Alright. You can have the Cascade Badge to show you beat me. The Cascade Badge makes all Pokemon up to level 30 obey. That includes even outsiders. There's more. You can now use Cut anytime. Great. You can cut down small bushes to open new paths instead of just walking around them. You can also have my favorite TM. I received Bubble Beam. Thank you. I don't know why Surf's not your favorite, but it's not a TM, so I guess it makes sense that it's your favorite TM. Another thing is, you can talk to this guy, and he'll, I guess, give you tips on the trainers. This guy, you literally can't talk to until you have Surf. Don't know why they put him there. Really bad choice. Also, you can fish in these. And yes, you can fish in Misty's Gym. Let's go buy some balls. And you'll see the struggles I have catching certain Pokemon, especially legendaries, because I love using Ultra Balls on nearly everything, even in the later games. Alright, so the next area you want to go to is technically down, so to get down, you're going to have to go around here, up here, through here, and uh, the way to go after the third badge is over here, which will eventually lead to Lavender Town, which is one step closer to our glitch. And, uh, yeah, you come down here. Just to let you know, this house down here is the daycare. You can deposit a Pokemon in there, and every certain amount of steps, it gains experience per step, and it'll level up in there. But it's not a, uh, advisable because, you know, Pokemon will have different moves, and it won't be hand trained by you or in the Pokemon by the wild, so it won't be as strong. That's my opinion. And he comes to this house here. Do you trade? You trade, right? Hi, do you have a Nidoran male? Wanna trade it for a Nidoran female? No. I don't have a Nidoran male, though. I have a Nidorino. <laughs> Speaking of, I don't know if Nidoran, Nidor, Nidorino, or learns any other moves that Nido King wouldn't learn. Meh. Too late now. I don't really care. We got one of my f favorite poison ground types, my, or my favorite poison type, rather. One of the most badass designs, and I fell in love with Nido King to this day. And I, I just, I often don't use them because you know I, I have so many other Pokemon's that I love. Like he's one of my main favorites, Alakazam. My favorite, one of my favorite Psychic types. Uh, my original, my favorite Pokemon, my very first Pokemon ever was Blastoise or Squirtle, rather. Then my first, my first starter was Blastoise. To this day, it's my favorite Pokemon, along with Raichu. But originally, before Raichu, it was Blastoise, and then a friend of mine liked Blastoise, and I'm like, I don't like what the same type as my friend, so I switched my favorite typing from Water to Electric, which, it, they're both my favorites. They're both number one. They're both tied. None is better than the other, even though technically Electric beats Water, but you get the point. I like them both evenly, and then I saw Raichu. I, I love Pikachu. He was adorable, he was cute. Or the hype before the popularity, which it was popular enough to get the mascot of the show, but this is before his bandwagon and everything, and I fell in love with it. It was so adorable, it was cute, as much as I'm not a big fan of mice, rats, whatever. I love Raichu to this day, it's my favorite electric type, and my favorite Pokemon along with Blastoise, who is my favorite water type, and my very first starter. Because I have a turtle, I think that was probably why. I don't know if that was, I just thought it was cute. I liked it. I liked the design better than Charmander. I thought it was cuter than Charmander. Charmander to me is not 
that cute. I mean, it kind of is. It's just, it's the ugliest of the three starters, in my opinion. But to this, for a while, though, I would always go with Charmander, just because I like Charizard's design a lot. But Blastoise, to me, is overall the, the coolest starter. And to me, the best. He may not be, but he, to me, he's the best of the three. And now, unless you have Mega Charizard with Drought. And Solar Beam. And that pertains to Mega, Mega Charizard with Y. Because, you know, fuck X. Charizard X is cool, but... <laughs> I'm not a big fan of him being Dragon type. I just think it was a dumb design, and it was... hyped. Making Mega Charizard X is just not that great. It's a great design, but it's just not a great change to him. Making him Dragon type was just... No. Uh-uh. Plus, it's a physical type. Why? He becomes more physically offensive instead of specially offensive. No! To me, that's not cool. I mean, come on, Charizard... Mega Charizard Y does, may not have the greatest of... Um... Pistachios. He may not have the greatest uh, design choice, but he is based. There aren't many bugs out here. And yet you have three. Do you have the whole Weedle line? Well, you're just gonna get Spoon. Buy a... buy a... Uh, a cereal Spooner. Ha, <clears throat> cereal Spooner. And you use Spoon to eat cereal. See what I did there? Caterpie? Well, I'm gonna Spoon you too. He's just a he just loves spooning. Why is it? It just sounds so weird when I say that. Cause it's a sexual thing. For anyone who doesn't know. I'm sorry for any young young audiences, because I know there's a few people I I who watch me who are young. Um, I'm sorry. But I know there's also people who are at least close to my age, I hope, who watch me. Maybe not. I mean, I know there are some of my, f some of, some people on my uh, who are subscribed subscribe to me. At least a couple are actually friends of mine. So, I hope you're laughing your laughing, laughing, laughing your asses off. All right, guys, that's gonna end this episode. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If uh, because I kicked Misty's ass and uh, my cadaver was spooning some bugs, and uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe as it helps me out greatly. Have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you in the next episode. Peace. Have a good day.